Christmas came early for some homeless animals in Craven County thanks to a not-so-secret Santa, Governor Pat McCrory. WNCT's Katie Harden has details on the Give Back Project in action. The Craven Pamlico Animal Services Shelter was one of five groups given donations from Governor Pat McCrory this Christmas. The governor and his wife, Anne, held an event last weekend to collect items for the homeless animals in North Carolina. Volunteers say it's an honor to be chosen. We try so hard to adopt out the animals and we have limited uh, sources that come in and, and help with, uh, with things and supplies that we need. Supplies like toys, beds, and even flea treatment help make the difference for pets as they search for their new family. Uh, the county does provide the food and the litter and the basics, uh, but it's always nice to have the extra so they have toys to play with. These donations will be used in-house and then distributed with adopted animals to help them get started in their new home. We've got some animals we've had here for a little while, um, and as long as we have space, we try to keep them. Volunteers here say it's easy to make a difference this holiday simply by paying attention to the needs of the community around you. It doesn't matter whether, where you donate to, there's always people in need. If you have a neighbor that has an animal and they can't afford to feed it, give them a bag of food or something to help them through the holidays so that those animals can stay in their homes as well. Currently, the Craven Pamlico shelter is near capacity. Animals from both counties and Cherry Point end up in this shelter, so they're always collecting donations and searching for forever homes. In New Bern, Katie Harden, 9 on your side. The most needed donations are puppy and kitten food and kitty litter. Craven Pamlico Animal Services is the only shelter in the east to benefit from the governor's open house.